Pergola. It's 20 to 7 on a damp October morning when Alessandro and his dog Lapo head off on a walk surrounded by the glorious colors of autumn. They have a job to do, a very special job, to seek and find gold. In this fairy tale village in the north of the Marsh region, apart from the famous gilt bronzes in its charming museum, there has never been gold in the ground. So what are they actually looking for? Meanwhile, a few kilometers away, it sounds like rain. But what you can hear is a tumbling deluge of fresh olives. They are on their way to a process that will turn them into a prized and fragrant olive oil. That's because here in Pergola, apart from the charm of the ancient village that has warmed the hearts of its residents for centuries, Everything that is born and grows is then magically turned into something superlative. Take a look at this vineyard, for instance. The grapes it produces will be pressed to become a very special wine that will sleep for many a year in this mysterious cellar, where Francesco will come along with his wine thief every morning at 8 to have a chat with his barrels. At just the same time, in another little cellar, Biagio will be tasting his latest sweet and acidic sour cherry wine made with the fruits of a very special year. On the hill not far away, Luca is removing his artisan bread from the oven it is made with ancient grains that he has been growing himself during the summer, taking care of each and every ear of wheat. He and his family have always grown these special grains, saving them from extinction. And while Luca adds a topping to his first, still steaming slice of bread, his machines are busy making the pasta with the longest history in the world. The air carries the intense, clean smells of autumn, which blend perfectly with the fragrance of the mushrooms that popped up overnight. Rosano, like many others this morning, is out hunting for them in the woods. While Giovanna, at the top of the hill, starts the day with a good slice of her cheese. Of all the ones she produces, together with her four-legged friends, this is her favorite. Pergola really does have plenty of resources and countless ways to discover what it means to live well and in peace. Here, people can work and savor the product of their labors and the produce of their land. The area has so much to offer, its residents and the many guests who come here from every corner of the world to be enchanted by so much magic and so much excellence. But Lapo has found something and the atmosphere that had been calm and slow paced until now suddenly becomes exciting. <laughs> Alessandro digs down a little and then digs some more. 
And then, at last, out comes his first nugget. An enormous, very fragrant, rare, and highly prized pergola white truffle. Only such an enchanted place, this beautiful land, can work such a miracle for the people who live here. So now, where are the two inseparable friends off to? To Lucas, of course. He is one of the men who take care of these heady nuggets, distributing them to friends in the neighborhood and all over the world. In fact, these very rare truffles of enormous value carry the name of Pergola to countries abroad every day. Yuri, at the restaurant in the heart of the village, loves to slice them thinly for a locally formed fillet steak topping, while Laura serves them to the lucky guests at her farm, who dine on strictly local produce. Practically everything is grown and raised by her father Claudio, no more than 30 yards from their kitchen. The autumn emphasizes the magical atmosphere of the village, which has been nestling here in this valley ever since prehistoric times. If it had a voice, it could tell us thousands of tales of historical, political, and cultural events that have shaped the whole of Italy over the last 2,000 years. Signs of these stories of the past are still evident in its churches, and especially the lovely Baroque church of Santa Maria del Tinte, in its traditional crafted goods, in the spectacular variety of its artworks, and in the incredible set of gilt bronzes that light up the village museum with their unique splendor. Who, better than these Roman statues, can tell the story of this land? You just need to look at them and listen. Lapo has done really well today, and Alessandro is very proud of him. The highly prized giant white truffle that they found is worth a great deal and even more valuable to the lucky people who will have the pleasure of tasting it. Who will they be? Maybe someone somewhere around the world who will discover this enchanted village thanks to its fragrance. Or it might be the next tourist who comes to spend a delightful weekend here in Pergola. Or it could be you listening to this simple story who are destined to savor such a truffle on your plate. Come to Pergola to find out. Pergola, the simply magical appeal of one of Italy's most beautiful villages.